Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you feeling today? I wish you will be enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is an English for grade 5 and we are learning unit number 15. No bullying. Yes, my dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation and worksheet links are given below. You may click it, download it, or you can amend it for your ease. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. So, our today's lecture, lecture number one, we will learn about use of question words. And we will cover a page, page number 137, question number 5, my dear students. So, before in English for grade 4, my dear students, we have already learned about question words. Okay, how and where we can use these words so i hope you remember it if you may not so you can watch this video lecture again there it it is given on page number 127 okay so our today's student learning outcome is recognize the function of different question words so today we will recognize the function how question words function have their different functions in different sentences so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in al quran surah al hajj verse number 23 Indeed, Allah will admit those who believe and do righteous deeds to gardens beneath which rivers flow. So, my dear students, this beautiful verse is giving us message of happiness toward those people. Those people are doing righteous deeds. So, righteous deeds mean they are obeying Almighty Allah, the instructions of Almighty Allah. They are obeying blindly everything without any question without any argument okay so for those people Allah Almighty is giving what a message of happiness so where they will be they will stay in a garden and under these garden what were there the river flows okay and which type of gardens they will be yes they will be with lush green gardens okay with all variety of fruits okay so this is the message and this is happiness and this is the reward for those people who are obeying almighty allah so let's pray that allah almighty may also bless his strength to keep firm belief on his instructions and how we have to obey them i mean so are you ready to refresh your knowledge okay let's see what do you know about question words? So yes, my dear students, what do you know about question words? That What are these words? Good job. Yes. Let's see what are question words. Yes, the question words are what, who, where, when, why, which. Okay. So these are called question words. Now let's see where we have to use all these question words. My dear students, these all question words have different use. Okay, so where we have to use, let's see. Where we have to use what? Yes, when we want to inquire about something, when we want to inquire about any idea, so definitely then also we can use what okay when we want to inquire about any job idea or any something else then we will use what suppose what are you doing now it is that inquiring about a job that what are you doing so if i am teaching so I, this is my job means work when we want to inquire about any type of work so let's see what is this okay what is in your hand got it Let's see, use of who, where we have to use who? Yes, my dear students, when we want to inquire about someone, this someone means when we want to inquire about a person. So then we have to use what, sorry, who, okay? What we have to use? We have to use who. See an example, who is your brother? Who is your brother? Okay, who is in the room? Who is in the room so definitely a person will be your let's see who any someone it can be a living thing okay and it can be an animal there is it clear like who is knocking at the door who is outside who is under the table is it clear good so let's see where where we have to use where yes my dear students when we inquire about place so we have to use where Examples are there. Where is your school? School is a place. 
where is the shopping mall so shopping mall is also a place okay where is your classroom where is the head office same like that okay so when we want to inquire about place so we have to use where next is use of when so my dear students now we are going to learn about the use of when and where we have to use it we have to use when to inquire about time when we want to inquire about time so we have to use when see there it time can be about months days or in the time of in number shapes like when is your birthday see there next is when do you go to school so yes mostly you are inquiring questions my dear students uh, from each other also when do you go to school when you get up early in the morning okay when you get up when you go to the masjid so this means we are inquiring about time that on which time you are performing which type of activity okay see there next use of which when we want to inquire about choice okay so we have to use which also which is being used for things my dear students keep remember if you are inquiring about things if we want to inquire about choice so then also we use which see there which is your pen okay next is there which doll do you like okay which doll do you like see there got it my dear students so yes this in this way we can use which in our sentences so my dear students these are the words that we are using wh questions are there and question words they are called to inquire questions why use of why let's see when we want to inquire about reason yes my dear students when we want to inquire about reason so then we have to use why suppose why are you late you are not late you are regular students yes why are you so sad if someone is sad in your class if your classmate is sad if your friend is sad so you can inquire reason why are you sad see there why were you knocking at the door why were you knocking at the door this is also inquiring about reason okay why are you silent today you are silent my dear students good why are you sitting why are you standing means when we want to inquire about some reason okay why always have a reason behind keep remember okay so let's perform an activity related to these question words yes my dear teachers your first step is there my dear teachers what you have to do pair the class okay first of all you will pair the class then you will write question words on the board then you will write few question words on the board is it clear so have you done it next see what you have to do students will interview each other students means that pair one pair will come in front of class and they will interview each other using question words yes see how they will interview each student will ask at least five questions from the students in pair it's okay this is called interview and how engage whole class in this activity my dear teacher this activity is for your students and in this way you will be able to get that how students are performing and how students are using question words in their speak speech okay then we will able to judge that how students have got information about the use of question words it's my dear teacher pause the video and get answer from your students and then come back good job welcome back i hope now students are able and also you have guided them nicely good job my dear students let's perform an individual activity on page number 137 there is a question question number 5 tick the right option for each statement these question words are there so you have to tick the right statement okay so perform this activity individually in your class i am waiting for you welcome back and good job my dear students i hope you have done with it in a nice way so what's our homework for today you will write 10 sentences using question words in your notebooks so this is your homework for today my dear students 
you have to write tons and tons of using these question words that I have taught you today. So this is worksheet, my dear teacher and my dear students. So my dear teacher, this worksheet link is given below. You should provide it to your students in printed form and see they, that how students can make question words. Okay, there is an example. She made a cake for my birthday. Okay, so you have to make question. What did she make for my birthday? Is it clear? In this way, you have to change. Got it? So what we have learned today, today we learned about question words. We learned to use these words according to the question we are going to ask according to the situation. And in this way, we have covered a common SLO, recognize the function of different question words. Yes, and we have done with it. Great job. So it means we are now able to use different question words according to the situation, according to the sentence structure. So today's lecture is going to be closed, my dear students. So tomorrow with a new lecture, see you soon, inshallah. Thank you so much. Stay blessed. Take care of yourself. Allah peace.